In a previous video, I added Mentos candies to club soda that had an acid-base indicator added to it. Immediately, carbon dioxide began to escape from the soda and the indicator changed color, indicating an increase in pH. I claimed that the increase in pH was due to the soda becoming less acidic as a result of carbon dioxide escaping the beverage. However, could it be that a basic compound in the Mentos caused the increase in pH? We'll test this idea in this video and do some other experiments along the way. First, let's add some universal indicator to the club soda we're going to test. I'll remove the label so we can see a bit better. Universal indicator allows us to see the pH of a solution. It is red, orange, or yellow in an acid, green in a neutral substance, and blue in a base. The further the pH value gets below 7, the more acidic the substance is, while the further above 7 the pH gets, the more basic the substance is. Okay, let's open up the bottles of club soda and add in the universal indicator. Wow, that's a beautiful red color. It looks like the club soda is pretty acidic with a pH of 3. Now let's add some Mentos candies to the club soda. Hey look, the color change indicates that the pH increases when we add Mentos candies. That's just like what we saw before. Now we need to test the idea that something in the Mentos, and not the loss of carbon dioxide, is what is causing the color change. To do this, we'll remove the carbon dioxide from club soda by boiling it. As you can see, these bottles of club soda have had universal indicator added to them. Let's keep this second sample of club soda nearby so we can compare colors. You should take note that I boiled the sample for over 10 minutes. The video here has been sped up quite a bit. As the soda is boiled, the carbon dioxide in the beverage escapes. And look what happens! We're seeing all the colors of the rainbow! These color changes are consistent with the idea that when carbon dioxide escapes a solution, the solution becomes less acidic. Its pH increases. After boiling off all the carbon dioxide, the club soda appeared to have a pH of about 8. This basic pH is likely due to the presence of basic compounds such as potassium bicarbonate and sodium citrate in the club soda. Wow, that's a pretty drastic change in pH, wouldn't you agree? Now that we've eliminated any possible effects from the loss of carbon dioxide, let's add some Mentos to see if something in these candies might be causing the increase in pH. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much of a color change at all. I saw more of a difference in color when the Mentos caused degassing of the club soda. This is good evidence that it is the escape of carbon dioxide and not something in the Mentos candies that actually caused the increase in pH. In fact, when I let these cups sit for about 10 minutes, I actually saw a color change consistent with a decrease in pH in the cup that had the Mentos added. You're looking at a picture I took of these cups after they sat for 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about how Mentos candies cause carbon dioxide to escape from sodas, and how you can use this fact to cause color changes. Let me know in the comments if you try out some of these experiments I've presented here. Happy experimenting!